the deadline is uh, behind us. Can you uh, describe the last few days here before? Yeah, it's been pretty busy. Uh, we've uh, obviously had some players uh, both come in and move. Um, you know, there's a lot of discussion, conversation, coordination that goes into that. So um, that's the final result. And I think we're you know, obviously quite happy with uh, the group that we have for the rest of the year. Brought in uh, three new players. Can, can you give a short analysis of the, the newcomers? Yeah, uh, well, Kemi Leinen, um, he'll be joining us uh, from Team Finland here when they're uh, finishing the Olympics. Um, we have, uh, you know, he, he's a player that's come coming from the KHL in Vityaz, uh, able to, like the other three, um, have them join us because the KHL has shut down the rest of their season, at least the regular season for the non-playoff teams. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to Valtteri joining us, uh, you know, big say right shot uh, defenseman that can really shoot the puck. Um, seen as kind of an offensive, uh, yet two-way defenseman, and um, yeah, just a great guy. I've been following him for a few years, so um, yeah, excited about him coming in. Um, I guess the the most recent one with uh, Mozik, um, Wojtek Mozik, uh, joining us from the Czech national team, um, and most recently playing in Admiral of the uh, KHL. Uh, he's a uh, yeah player that's got familiarity with this league. Has been playing in Farjestad. Uh, most recently two years ago, and uh, quite familiar with Lucas Ekestal, uh, who we paired with uh, for most of that season, and had a lot of success there. So, uh, yeah, he's going to come in and, and really strengthen our D, D core, especially in, you know, in our own zone and uh, in front of our net, and uh, also a great guy that we've yeah, done our research on and feel very confident that he's going to fit well into our room. Um, and the last player everybody's familiar with, and Daniel Zarr, uh, just you know, having the chance to work with him again this season, Kind of uh, somewhat unexpectedly, uh, but uh, benefiting from that KHL shutting down. So uh, Daniel, uh, you know, he's a huge part of our organization already, uh, even though he's been gone this year. And uh, look forward to you know having him back and bring a lot of what he has brought in the past. And that's you know offensive competence and just a uh, general uh, yeah I I elite level to uh, to our hockey team. Just uh, looking back at Sar's success last year, uh, how, how important what was it to land him uh, here for the rest of the year? Yeah, I mean, I think if, if we were to go into you know the last month here and, and say if we could have a chance to bring back any player, you know, he would probably be at the top of that list. So um, yeah, really excited for Z to be back in uh, our lineup each night and to see him, uh, you know, around the dressing room. And uh, I'll say even in speaking with him the last week or so, you know, I could hear you know a smile right through the phone that he. He wanted to be back here, and uh, yeah, just really happy that we can uh, work with him for the rest of the season. And, and if we look at the defensive side, uh, in what areas do you feel like uh, Mosik and Kemalainen will contribute the most? Yeah, I think uh, well, a lot of areas. Um, they're both obviously elite defensemen playing in the Olympics right now. Um, I would say Mosik, uh, you know, he, he has also has a, a big shot. Uh, you know, he's he's um, I think was seen coming into the, the SHL as a a very offensive defenseman. I think we see him as a very strong two AD man, and that's uh, you know what he was what he was when he was in in Firestad and played with Ekestal. Uh, you know, owned a lot of the shot share. Uh, had a very high expected goals rate with Ekestal, and uh, you know they they were yeah very successful by a lot of metrics. So um, I hope he brings a lot of that. He kills penalties very well. He's, he's physical in front of the net, and uh, I think Valtteri also has a high level of offensive capability. Um, some creativity on the blue line. He likes to get up ice and be involved in the rush. And uh, I'm sure you'll see him on the power play as well. And uh, lastly, Tyler Kelleher and Eric Jelena has left the team. Uh, what was the main reasoning behind those decisions? Yeah, I think both uh, kind of separate situations. But, um, you know, we, we want to make sure that guys uh, have a good experience here. And, and when they leave here, you know, speak well of this organization. And I really hope and, and believe that the, both of them are, are doing that right now. Um, they, you know, had the opportunity to pursue opportunities in another organization, and Jelen and Hugh Gordon, playing with one of his uh, friends there, uh, and then Tyler Kelleher to to, to get back to playing uh, more hockey and you know a type of hockey that he really enjoys. And uh, you know we afforded him that opportunity, and I think that's you know says a lot as well that uh, you know I, I want to make sure guys want to be here and, and, and fight here and. And uh, I think you know Tyler loved playing here, and we really enjoyed having him here. And I think it's just been a good solution uh, for him and for us. And uh, wish him the best there. And I know he's going to be well taken care of in HV71.